Hi, it's good to be back again. In the previous video, we saw the play Twelfth Night, Act 1, Scene 1. And we would proceed with Act 1, Scene 2 in this video. Scene 2 introduces Viola, the charming heroine of the play. She has been rescued from shipwreck by some sailors on the shores of Illyria. As soon as she lands on the shore, she remembers a twin brother, Sebastian, who had also been wrecked in the same ship. She fears that her brother must have perished in the sea. The captain of the ship, however, consoles her and says that there were chances that her brother also might have been rescued because he had seen him floating on a raft of the broken ship. Viola prays and wishes for her brother's safety. Viola then inquires about the country where they had landed. The captain says that they had landed on the shore of Illyria, a beautiful country governed by Duke Orsino. Viola says that Orsino was a friend of her father. The captain tells her that the Duke was a bachelor and he had been courting a fair countess named Olivia. Viola expresses her desire to serve the countess, but the captain tells her that it was impossible since Olivia did not entertain anyone owing to her grief on the recent death of her brother. This makes Viola decide to serve the Duke in disguise as a young man. She requests the captain to get her clothes of a man and introduces her to the Duke as eunuch. She pleads also that he should not reveal her secret to anyone. The captain gives her assurance that he would never give out her secret to anyone. This is Act 1, Scene Now we will move to scene 3. Scene 3 introduces the leading characters of the subplot of the play. They are Sir Toby, Sir Andrew and Mariah. Sir Toby complains to Mariah that it is wrong that Olivia should take the death of her brother so grievously. She should take proper care of her health. But Mariah puts off his complaint and says that her mistress is very angry with him because he returns late in the night and drinks excessively in the company of a foolish knight whom he has brought to be her over. Sir Toby protests that the knight, Sir Andrew, is a wealthy and learned man. They drink together, it is true, but they drink to the health of Olivia has every worthy person ought to do till his head reels. Sir Andrew now enters. Sir Toby's drunken witticism leads to an exchange of flat jokes between Sir Andrew and Mariah. Sir Andrew proposes to return home the next day as Olivia is not likely to accept a suit when the Count himself is wooing her. Sir Toby, however, assures him that the Count has no chance, as Olivia is sworn not to marry anyone above her rank, age or intelligence. So Sir Andrew agrees to stay a month longer. In the course of the talk, Sir Andrew gives out that he is very good at dancing, and the two knights prepare to indulge in revelry. They believe that they are born under Taurus, the star favorable for dance and music. <laughs> 